In the mix Yeah In the mix Yeah City lights Yeah Anywhere you wanna go You can be all in the spotlight In the mix What happens in Vegas It stays in Vegas So go ahead and do what you like Do whatever you feel is right So we came to town Yeah, we in the mix It's a party going on Tonight on In The Mix Now, Local Love, we'll talk about FMF 19, a new platform that's growing the indie entertainment scene in Vegas. Then, the playback. Val goes behind the scenes with Body Jack before his battle in Atlanta against Gene Pascal, as well as giving highlights between Davis and Gamboa. And later, Keiko sits down with Dr. Farah Gray to talk about his book, The Keys to Entrepreneurship, and his $10 million jacket. Got merch? Start your brand now and launch your store. Take control and be a boss with high quality products that are unique to your personality. It's easy to start. We set up the drop shipping so you can run your store without worrying about shipping it out. Need wholesale? We've got you covered. Why wait? Start now. Go to snapmerch.com. Coming up next, we'll do a recap of the independent films and musicians at FMF 19. And later, Keiko hits the red carpet and highlights all the looks from the fashion show. Welcome to Las Vegas. You know we gotta show some love to the locals. You know what time it is. This is Local Love. FMF Vegas is a platform that is designed to drive the growth of the Las Vegas fashion, music, and independent film industries. This year's featured films were provided by the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia, Trinity Film Festival of Detroit, and local Las Vegas directors and producers. Some of the highlighted films were Compromised, produced by Angelique Marshall. Probably always did. Who? Aaron. I can't do that, Ethan. What? He has me on retainer. Retainer? You're a killer. A killer with a code. Destinova, produced by Dirt Merchant Films. Bottom line is, you are nice. Yeah. Trying to get attention, having no regard for the other guy. Sleeping around, trying to pretend that you were this young lion. I mean, you would have picked a fight with Mike Tyson if you could have. Story of my life, produced by Competition Zero. Way more class than that. Don't be petty, man. Not in front of my friends, baby. Who? Them? Hmm? For real right now? For real? Hold on. Forgive me. What's up, baby? War Angel, produced by Matthew Carter. Be first, the kingdom of God. Love, and you will be loved. That's all. Are you saying God wants to use me? Did you not hear what I said earlier? I'm an abomination in the eyes of God. I'm labeled gay. The Neon Detroit Light, produced by Digital Shine Dream Studios and Trinity Films City. Entertainment Group. Gentlemen, welcome to 1985. You guys keep me one step ahead of the law, and I'll make you wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. Like a demon in the dark, caught the tail of so far. The FMF featured artists included local rising stars and artists from as far as Atlanta and DC to be a part of this groundbreaking event. They included America Sutton, Avir, Jay Kiba, Black Lion Society, Eastside Bandit, King Dollar, Synthetic Real, Prince Phil, 
YA poet, and many more. The highlight of the evening portion was definitely the celebrity designer fashion show. The featured designers range from local designers to couture labels. They have also been featured in Vogue, Cosmo, Elle, and even Paris Fashion Week. They included Burning Guitars, Beauty in the Box, Trucking Flywear, Edward J. Coleman from Reno, Ambrosia Jean from Connecticut, Vegas's Raylene Royal, and Thoroughbred Jean. The event was held at the Eclipse Movie Theater in the heart of downtown Las Vegas. The luxury theater includes a patio, bar, and lounge, as well as eight theaters with luxury, spacious seating and seatside service. I got the opportunity to be one of the hosts for the red carpet of the fashion show. So I went behind the scenes with all of the models, designers, and everybody that made this event happen to see how it all goes down. There were so many models from all over the US, even from as far as Costa Rica. Everyone was so excited backstage. And after I was dressed by the designers and hit the accessory bar provided by Bonafide Glam, I was ready to hit the red carpet. Coming up next, Keiko hits the red carpet and shows all the looks from the runway. Need some extra cash? Of course! Then get you some in the mix moolah, baby! We're giving away these second gift cards for watching the show and you could win. First, log into our website at inthemixnow.com. Second, answer five questions about tonight's episode. Then, watch next week to see if you won. Get that moolah! Only on inthemixnow.com. No purchase necessary to enter or win. Must be 18 years of age or older. Void were prohibited. Read the official rules at inthemixnow.com. Keiko hits the red carpet and shows all the looks from the runway. And later, Keiko sits down with Dr. Far Gray to talk about his book, The Keys to Entrepreneurship, and his $10 million jacket. After I was dressed and ready and hit the accessory bar provided by Bonafide Glam, I was ready to hit the red carpet and get all the celeb tea. The place was packed with a variety of industry tastemakers, stars, and independent talent. Everyone was there, including Heather and Wade King from Animal Planet's Tank, director Henning Morales, and Irwin, the General Raymer. Even Lito showed up to get in on the action. So, after a little bit of networking, it was time for me to hit the red carpet. Everybody here is coming to us. We were walking around by a couple of people. They, everybody has great energy and great ideas. So, detail on your brand. Absolutely, absolutely. My name is Tony with Beauty in the Box. And this is Naomi. Hi, how are you? I'm Naomi. Where are you from? I'm originally Polish. Now, where are you originally from? I'm originally from New York, but I've been in LA for 15 years and I just moved to Vegas two months ago. And uh, we're definitely loving it. We love the Vegas people, we love the crowd. I mean, it's, it's been a great experience since we've been here. Have Mr. Brian Harris here. I've got black look. Hi, Brian. How you doing today? I'm good. It's how you do it. Um, well, it's important because it is very important that we all win. Mean, we have successful people uh, We have political people out here. We have uh, just we have stars out here. This is just a phenomenal event. I'm glad that I was told about it, and I'm glad that my agents want to get other people to come out. It's a great event. We have my girl Miss Annie McKnight, who is not only a comedian but she is an actress, and not only that, but she will be hosting tonight. What's up, people? How y'all doing out there? TV land. Y'all know me from Conan. I was just on Conan a couple of uh, weeks ago for the Game of Thrones. I was his alter ego. That was me. I've also been on my gosh. Everybody hates Chris. I can just go on and on. I'm looking for character. I want somebody who's going to bring it on stage. I want them to wear the clothes and I want the clothes to wear them. That's what I'm looking for. So after we lit up the red carpet with the celebs and local stars, it was time for the main event of the evening, the fashion show. Okay. You, you know where yours is. You know where yours is. You know? FMF 19 
went out with a bang. The models and designers blazed the runway and brought a new vision of urban fashion to Las Vegas. FMF 20 will be coming up this September in Las Vegas. The location and dates have yet to be released, but we'll keep you updated. Coming up next. And later. The end of paying crazy or carrier network fees? Think of unlimited brain power. The Rolts Domino. Extremely small. Extremely light. Simply push to top. Are you a... For a secure, reliable, and license-free communication for your team. The Rolts Domino. Changing the way teams communicate. I went down to the Mayweather Boxing Club in Las Vegas, Nevada, where some of the hottest boxers of our time are being trained to dominate the ring. We came to see Badu Jack's workout as he prepared for his upcoming fight with Gene Pascal. This highly anticipated WBA light heavyweight title fight had everybody on the edge of their seats. In the mix right now, it's also Leonard Ellaby and Bidel Body, and also Badu Jack. We are here getting ready for the Atlanta State Farm event on Showtime. Davis and Badu. In this fight, uh, Badu, uh, what's your prediction? Are we going to uh, see a knockout? I always like to win the fight no matter what it takes. Okay, and when you were in, in the ring, uh, in, in the headlines, it said that you know you really wasn't that hurt, it was more of the head, but, but coming from that and with your uh, strength and code and coaching your training, uh, have you been able to be 100% to come back and take this fight on? 100%, like I said, I was cleared to fight. Uh, my cut was healed in March. Mm -hmm. It's December now. I've been, I've been good. So. Ready for the fight, Badu Jack headed to Atlanta to get ready to hit the ring. I went to check in with Javante Davis, the main event contender, and hear his thoughts about the bout against Gamboa in Atlanta, Georgia. The end of paying crazier carrier network fees? Think of unlimited brain power. The Rolts Domino. Extremely small, extremely light. Simply push to top. Are you a. For a secure, reliable, and license free communication for your team? The Rolts Domino. Changing the way teams communicate. Find out next on Indie Mix. This week's top three artists on Indie Mix are Jackie Ray, a smooth and sultry soul singer from Las Vegas, Nevada. Check him out with Super Bad.
full of baddies asking daddy what's next what's next what's next whole lot of everything now what's next what's next baby what's next past one mile sydney raquel with over 50,000 followers, this singer, songwriter, and makeup artist came out blazing last year with her new single, Justify. Check out Justify. Check out this week's top 10 in the Mix Now playlist on Spotify. Need some extra cash? Of course! Then get you some in the mix moolah, baby! Oh. We're giving away Visa gift cards for watching the show, and you could win. First, log into our website at inthemixnow.com. Second, answer five questions about tonight's episode. Watch next week to see if you won. Get that moolah. Ah. Only on intermixnow.com. No purchase necessary to enter or win. Must be 18 years of age or older. Void where prohibited. Read the official rules at intermixnow.com. This man is doing some big things in Las Vegas. And are you a Vegas native? I might as well be 26 years. Okay, now where are you yeah. from? Born in LA, grew up in Chicago. Chicago, okay. You've been on different platforms. Wow, uh, by God's grace now, seven books later. Uh, 24 countries, 13 different languages. I just talked about recently uh, the book Millionaire, which was nine steps to become rich from the inside out, mm -hmm. which talks about how I made my first million at 14 through venture capital at a food company, nice. as well as uh, at an office on Wall Street at 13, uh, consulted for the United States Department of Commerce as a teenager, uh, bought Inner City Magazine from uh, Inner City Broadcasting. Nice. They produced a Showtime at the Apollo. Now, do you guys struck me about your story because you are a African-American male in society and you're doing very, very well for yourself. So how did you start from Chicago? to LA to now Vegas and what were some of the struggles that you encountered on your way up to your ladder of success to where you are now? If you believe in statistics, for me personally, I grew up in the Robert Taylor Projects. I'm supposed to have to be in prison or dead. Uh, my father was a black leader and activist. His name is Khaled Muhammad. Uh, my mom left him when I was very young, when I was a baby. And she said, you know, activism doesn't pay the bills. So she went out working three jobs at a time trying to help pay the bills. And then um, from there, she had a heart attack. And the doctor said that she wouldn't live wow. and that she would have to take this little pink pill every day in order to live and that hit me hard mm -hmm. and i was only six years old you know? so i'm like wow i got up one morning and that's what got me out of chicago was that pivotal moment i think everybody has to have a pivotal moment it could be a book a song a conversation with a friend um that pivotal moment for me was when the doctor said that my mom would not live and i felt like it was based on the stress mm -hmm. of how we were living uh two back-to-back -back heart attacks i got up one morning I said, I'm not going to come home until I've helped my mom pay the bills. And I saw oversized rocks in the streets. And I would paint them. And I would knock on people's doors. And I would say, would you like to buy this? And people look at me like, isn't that the rock that was in front of my door? <laughs> I was like, yeah, but it's So different. where did you get this idea to do that from? Like, did that just come to you one day? Or how did that happen? I believe that necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. um, so out of poverty, out of necessity, out of hunger, I wanted to help my mom. And I knew I'd had no money. so. I took water paint and started just painting rocks that I saw. And most people think when you start a business, and that taught me a valuable lesson, that you have to invent something that's never been done before. 
I always say don't reposition, I uh, don't reinvent the wheel, reposition it, reimagine it. Correct. So I took something simple, made a business out of it, made $50. At six years old, I was falling. Uh, couldn't tell me nothing. Got merch? Start your brand now and launch your store. Take control and be a boss with high quality products that are unique to your personality. It's easy to start. We set up the drop shipping so you can run your store without worrying about shipping it out. Need wholesale? We've got you covered. Why wait? Start now. Go to snapmerch.com. I sat down with Dr. Farah Gray to talk about his $10 million jacket. He had some, you know, spiritual talks and stuff. So he, I really like him because his his mind is right. He's very level-headed. So not only is he a entrepreneur, but you have some things going on with fashion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some of you may have read about, actually, I had uh, my 11-year-old uh, nephew call and say, I saw all over the news. Uh, Uncle, you're doing a $10 million jacket. Uh, myself and uh, diamond jeweler, Peter Marco, we designed a $10 million, 460 karat, mostly GIA certified diamond jacket, which is available on Rodeo Drive uh, on display there. And the reason for that, uh, especially uh, it was birthed out of when we were dealing with all the challenges with Gucci and top, mm -hmm. end design, uh, top line uh, designers, high end. Uh, I wanted to send a message to the world uh, of two things. Not only we're making a $10 million jacket, but also several charities will benefit from the sale of the jacket. Absolutely. Because I think we should all be ashamed to die unless we give it back. You know, I call it success to significance. And I think, especially on social media, we've forgotten about that. You know, most people want to show you how well they're living their life. But are you giving back? You know, and I think when we give back, that's the rent that we owe society to our creator for living. So created the uh, ten million dollar jacket, also to say that black people we do high end well. We've been backing some of the most popular high end designers for quite some time, and I wanted to show that you know black designers we can step into the multi million dollar range. And the ten million dollar jacket has gotten a lot of attention. We've had uh, Floyd Mayweather, of course, checking it out. Uh, several uh, members of different royal families looking to buy it as well. So we'll see how it goes. What's coming up next on In The Mix Now? Make sure you visit our website at inthemixnow.com to stay updated with all the latest episodes and info. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure you tune in every Tuesday at 2 a.m. on the CW Las Vegas.